Hello students, I am your Maths faculty of Vidya Guru. If you find this video informative, please like, share and subscribe the channel. This complete video will be in English. If you are not comfortable with the language, please check out the playlist. You can find the same video in Hindi. Today, we are going to discuss some most important questions of train. Train is basically depend on speed, time and distance. There are some additional concepts. First is if a train if a train crosses a body whose length is negligible to length of train whose length is negligible to length of train such as if a train crosses a pole a man or a tree then in this case train will cross its own length train will cross its own length but if a train crosses a body which have some length as compared to train such as if it is cross a platform a tunnel or another train then what length train will cross train will cross its own length plus length of that body that is platform or tunnel or another train if a train crosses a pole man or a tree which is not having any length then train will cross its own length but if a train crosses a body which is having some length as compared to train then train will cross its own length plus length of that body next thing is if you want to change unit of speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second we will multiply it by 5 by 18 or if you want to change meter per second to kilometer per hour we will multiply it by 18 by 5 so coming on to our first question what first question is saying a train of length length of train is what length of train is 212 meter is running at a speed of 45 kilometer per hour speed is given 45 kilometer per hour in how much time it will cross a platform of length 188 meter platform length is 188 km meter as i have told you if a train crosses a plot platform then it will cross its own length plus platform length we need to find the time in what time time is what distance upon speed what is the total distance which is to be covered and what is the speed by speed of 45 but this is in meter and this is in kilometer per hour if i want to convert it in meter per second i will multiply it by 5 by 18 what it will become in numerator it will come 400 into 18 by 45 into 5 if i cancel it by 9 9 2 times 25 16 times is 400 then in what time train will cross the platform of length 188 meter it will cross it in 32 seconds so coming on to our next question next question is saying a platform of station 400 meter 400 meter long start exactly where last span of the bridge 1.2 kilometer ends there is a bridge of 1.2 kilometer and platform starts exactly where it ends platform starts exactly where it ends that means from here platform starts and platform is of length 400 meter this is bridge length of train is given 200 meter train has to cross this bridge this platform so total length which is to be covered will be 1200 meter plus 400 meter plus 200 meter which will be equal to 1800 meter time is asked time will be equal to what distance upon speed speed is given 72 km per hour to convert it in meter per second we will multiply it by 5 by 18 18 will come in the numerator 18 4 time is 72 5 4 is a 20 20 will cancel this out in 90 so train will take 90 seconds to cover this distance 90 seconds can be written in minute as dividing it by 60 3 to the 6, 3 3 the 9, 1.5 minute. 1.5 minute or 90 second is the same thing. According to options, 1.5 minute is the 
करेक्ट आंसर सो कमिंग ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन What next question is saying? A train leaves Delhi at 10 a.m. Let there is a train A. It leaves Delhi at 10 a.m. and reaches and reaches Jaipur at 4 p.m. from Delhi to Jaipur. Another train, another train leaves Jaipur at 12 p.m. and reaches Delhi. reaches delhi on the same day at 5 pm question is asking at what time two trains will meet approximately if distance is constant distance is constant two trains are traveling the same distance then we can assume distance from our side or the reverse of time will be the ratio of speed because distance is constant so how much time train a is taken it left at 10 am and reached at 4 pm this took total 6 hours and train b left at 12 pm and reached at 5 pm it took total 5 hour then what is the ratio of time 6 and 5 for a and b then what will be the ratio of speed 5 6 i will assume distance from my side that exact time is 6 and speed is time is 5 and speed is 6 so what will be the distance 30 or from here also what will be the distance 30 now question is left this is a distance of 30 km train a leaves from here and train b leaves from here it leaves at 10 am and it's leave at 12 pm if we need to find the meeting time that means we have to make this time equal the two train should leave at same time if we find if we need to find out the meeting time so we will bring it at 12 pm in 2 hours how much distance train will cover what is its speed 5 in 2 hours train will cover with the speed of 5 10 distance then what is the speed distance left 20 this whole distance was 30 20 distance is left to be covered two trains are moving in opposite direction one more concept if two bodies are moving in opposite direction with s1 and s2 speed speed gets sum up if two bodies are in moving in the same direction with speed of s1 s2 then speed gets subtracted so we need to find meeting time what is the distance 20 and what will be the speed 5 and 6 they are moving in opposite direction so speed will get add 11 so what is the approximate time 11 one time is 11 and it will be equal to one whole 9 by 11 r one whole 9 by 11 r it i convert this into minute it will be approximately equal to 5.5 then 1 r and 9545 minute 50.5 minute the time is 12 and train took 1 hour 50 minute more to meet then what will be the time time will be approximately 12 50 sorry 1 50 pm 150 pm so option number d is correct approximate answer is asked 150 and 149 are approximately same so two train will meet at 150 pm what i have done first i have find out the time they take to total cover the distance distance is constant so reverse of time will be speed and now i have find the distance speed speed into time is distance the, that means distance between delhi and jaipur i have considered it as 30 from my, my side now to find the meeting time two train should move at same time so i will bring this train from 10 am to 12 pm that that means the train is moved for 2 hours in 2 hours with the speed of 5 it will cover 10 distance distance is left 20 20 distance is left and trains are moving in opposite direction so speed will be s1 plus s2 if this is s1 and this is s2 
सो इट विल अप्रॉक्सीमेटली कम वन आवर फिफ्टी मिनट फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व पी एम ट्रेन टू टू मीट वन आवर फिफ्टी मिनट वन आवर फिफ्टी मिनट सो टाइम विल बी वन फिफ्टी पी एम विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी नाइन पी एम वॉट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग अ बॉय इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन अ साइड ऑफ अ रेलवे ट्रैक एंड अप ट्रेन क्रॉस इज इन एट सेकेंड्स अप ट्रेन एंड डाउन ट्रेन ट्वाइस ऑफ इट्स लेंथ दैट मीन्स इफ लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट ट्रेन वॉज एल एंड डाउन ट्रेन लेंथ इज टू एल दिस ट्रेन crosses him it uh, crosses him in 8 seconds and this train crosses him in 12 seconds so this is distance this is time this is distance this is time then it will be the speed of first train and this will be the speed of second train now question is saying how long will the two trains to take to cross each other if two trains will cross each other they will cross their sum of both lengths then this distance is to be crossed and what is the speed speed is first train opposite direction they are going in opposite direction so speed will add 2l by 20 which can be written as l by 10 3l if i take lcm of 8 and 10 it will be 40 5l plus 4l 3l into 40 by 9l. This will be cancelled out. 3 three is a 9. 40 by 3 is nothing, but 13 whole 1 by 3 seconds. So two train will take 13 whole 1 by 3 seconds to cross each other. There is one more way to solve this question. i will consider let the length of both train is same this is also of length 2l so if it is it is crossing a boy that means it is crossing its own length if its length is l it take 8 seconds to cross if its length is l it take 8 seconds to cross if length become twice then it will take 16 seconds and length of second train is also 2l and it is taking 20 seconds so i have make the distance constant in this also train is crossing 2l length and this also train is calls crossing 2l length so if distance is constant then reverse of time is speed speed so what will be the ratio of speed 4 ratio uh, sorry 5 ratio 4 this is time this is speeds then what will be the length of train 80 and from here also its length will be also 80 but i have assumed that as 2l if it is coming 80 then second train length will be 80 and first train is half of its length it will be 40 then what is the total distance that is to be covered l1 plus s2 and with the speed of both train moving in opposite direction so speed will get added up This will be 80 plus 40, 120, and 5 plus 4, 9. If I cancel this out, 40 by 3, which will be equal to 13 whole 1 by 3 seconds. Distance was not equal this time, but I have made it equal by multiplying it by 2. If L length of train is L, it take 8 second to cross a boy. If it cross a boy, it is crossing its own length. If I assume its length is 2L, then it will take 16 second. And in last. its length was coming 80 but i have uh, made it half because it is half of its length its length will become 40 so it will take 13 whole 1 by 3 seconds to cross so moving on to our next question next question is saying a train without stoppage travel with an average speed of 70 km per hour without stoppage average speed is 70 and with stoppage with stoppage average speed of train is 56 56 now question is asking how many minutes does train step uh, stop on average per hour without stoppage and this is speed with stoppage distance is constant with this speed train is covering without stoppage this is with stoppage if distance is constant ratio will be reverse 56 70 
if i take ratio of time 7 10 and it will be 4 5 now question is saying in an hour it will stop for how many minutes in an hour that means this 5 is to be equal to r that means i will make it 60 minute i have to multiply it by 12 then this time will become 48 the distance train with stoppage will cover in one hour without stoppage it will be covered in 48 minutes then for how many minutes train stop for 12 minutes train stop in an hour question is asked in an hour train will stop for how many minutes i have converted this in one hour or 60 minutes the distance that was covered in one hour with stoppage without stoppage it would have been covered in 48 minutes that means this 12 minutes extra is what stopping time so train stop for 12 minute in an hour so so coming on to our next question what question is saying two trains running in opposite direction if trains are running in opposite direction i told you speed will get add up speed will get add up speed of first train is given 42 km per hour and speed of second train is given 57 km per hour the question is saying they take 18 seconds to cross each other cross each other that means they are crossing their both of their lengths they are crossing their own length 18 seconds if i need to find out what distance they are covering distance is speed into time time is given in 18 seconds they cross and they are in moving in opposite direction speed will add up so what will be the speed 99 kilometer per hour if i want to convert in meter per second it will be 5 multiplied by 5 by 18 11 to 55 by 2 meter per second so this speed is 55 by 2 meter per second into 18 multiply it by 9 9 fives are 45 45 4 9 5 meter this total distance is covered if one train is of 270 meter if one train is of 270 meter then length of another train is asked this will be the length of both train because they are crossing each other question is saying one train is of 270 meter then what will be the length of second train 495 minus 270 225 meter the length of second train will be 225 meter option number c is the correct answer if two trains are crossing each other that means they are crossing some of their lengths so coming on to our next question to next question i will explain you one concept let this distance is a b a person p is moving from here and a person q is moving from here let them meet at some point c let them meet at some point c and after meeting after meeting p took t1 time to reach its destination this is taken time by p p started from point a q started from point b and they meet at point c and after meeting after meeting p took t1 time more to reach its destination and lets its speed is s1 and its speed is s2 and q took t2 time to t2 time to reach its destination after meeting after meeting p took t1 time to reach its destination and q took after meeting t2 time to reach its destination so there are three concepts in this if question ask what is meeting time to find out meeting time it will be t1 into t2 t1 into t2 second what is the relation between speed and this time s1 upon s2 will be equal to root t2 upon t1 third concept what is the total distance what is the total distance with speed of s1 p took t1 time to cover this distance so this distance will be s1 t1 
and with s2 speed this took t this distance is covered by qn t2 time so this distance will be s2 t2 and this is the sum of ab so total distance ab is equal to s1 plus t1 and s2 to s2 t2 so our first what is our next question saying question is saying ab started traveling towards each other from same time from places x to y and y to x this is x this is y and a started from here and b started from here towards each other and after crossing each other after crossing each other a and b took 2.45 r and 4.05 r after meeting they took this this time this is time taken by a this is time taken by b the question is saying if the speed of b was 8.4 this will be as to let this is t1 t2 this will be as to its speed is given 8.4 kilometer per hour so question is asking what is the speed of a s1 is asked this is the time after meeting they are taking i have told you what relation is followed s1 upon s2 is equal to t2 upon t1 s1 we have to find out s2 is for uh, what is s2 8.4 what is t2 4.05 and what is t1 2.45 if we cancel out this decimal and if i cancel it this by 5 5 8 and 5 ones are 5 5 four five nine is forty five. So S one upon eight point four will be equal to nine is the root of eighty one and seven is the root of forty nine. This will be cancelled out one point two times. S one will be equal to nine into one point one point two. It will be equal to what nine to the eighteen ten point eight kilometer per hour. Hope you have got the concept. If after meeting time is given and speed of anyone is asked. then we can find out by this formula so what next question is saying there are two person radha and shyam radha is is walks with the speed of 45 km per hour towards shyam shyam speed is not given as 2 km per hour this is as 1 now after meeting each other let them meet here after meeting each other at c at c after meeting each other they took 4 hr this is t1 and 9 hr to reach either or soon what is asked speed of uh, speed of shyam and this distance is asked so speed of shyam will be what s1 upon s2 will be equal to root t2 upon t1 s1 is given 45 s2 is asked t2 is 9 t1 is 4 so 45 upon s2 will be equal to 3 by 2 3 15 times s2 will be equal to what 30 km per hour what next question is saying speed of two engines is given 5 ratio 4 5 ratio 4 they move on parallel tracks in the same direction in the same direction slower engine is ahead of the faster engine by 8 km let this is slower engine b and this is a and it is 8 km ahead of this so question is asking how far will the faster engine travel before it overtakes the slower one see it is here and it is 8 km ahead so they are moving in same direction and they are moving at same time so when this will overtake this time of both engines will be constant for that they have traveled if time is constant then ratio of speed and distance is same that means the ratio of distance between them will be 5 ratio 4 how much more distance a have traveled before getting it caught it will be 1 and value of 1 will be 8 km because to overtake it a have to cross this 8 km distance that means value of a will be 8 km then faster engine would have traveled how much distance 5 times 
फोर्टी किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस बिफोर ओवरटेकिंग द स्लोअर इंजन टाइम इज कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर सो रेशो ऑफ स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस विल बी सेम इट विल ट्रेवल एट किलोमीटर मोर डिस्टेंस सो फाइव विल बी फोर्टी दैट मीन्स इट हैव टू ट्रेवल टोटल फोर्टी किलोमीटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग रेनू वॉज सिटिंग इन ट्रेन ए रेनू वॉज सिटिंग इन ट्रेन ए एंड स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन ए इज गिवन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आर देन स्पीड ऑफ रेनू विल बी वॉट द स्पीड बाय विच ट्रेन इज मूविंग दैन स्पीड ऑफ रेनू इज ऑल्सो फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आर देर इज अनदर ट्रेन बी अनदर ट्रेन बी हुज लेंथ इज थ्राइस ऑफ ट्रेन ए इफ इट्स लेंथ इज एल इट्स लेंथ विल बी थ्री एल इट इज मूविंग विथ स्पीड ऑफ it is moving with speed of 58 km per hour a question is saying this train crossed renu in 15 seconds it crossed renu in 15 seconds in opposite direction then what is the length of train a length of train a is asked if they are moving in the opposite direction speed will be added up speed will be added so with what speed train b will cross s1 s a plus s b 50 plus 58 and if train b is crossing renu that means it is crossing its own length it's crossing renu but renu have some speed 50 km per hour but it's crossing its own length what will be this 108 km per hour if i convert this in meter per second i will multiply it by 8 5 by 18 9 1 time 9 2 times 2 6 in meter per second it will be 30 meter per second by speed of 30 meter per second what is the distance covered speed of 30 meter per second in 15 seconds train crosses reno then what is the length of train b 450 train this is 3l equal to 450 train a is of length l l will be equal to what 450 upon 3 150 meter train a will be of length 150 meter Next question is saying a passenger train departs from Delhi to Mumbai at at 6 p.m. at 6 p.m. at 9 p.m. an express train a train departs from here another train express train from 9 p.m. departs from here departs from here at 9 p.m. whose ex speed exceeds By 15. If speed of this train is x, speed of this train will be x plus 15. Because question is saying its speed exceed by 50 km 15 km per hour. Two trains meet meet each other at mid route. Exactly at mid route. And distance of Delhi and Mumbai is given 1080 km. Question is asking at what time two trains meet? This is very interesting question. If they are meeting at mid route. That means this train has travelled 540 kilometer, and this train has also travelled 540 kilometer. Now I have told you earlier that if we need to find the meeting time, then two trains should start moving at same time. But it is moving at 6 p.m. and it is at 9 p.m. We will bring it at 9 p.m. That is, we have moved train for three hour. Train has travelled for three hour. is with speed of x for 3 hr it will cover 3x distance then what is this distance left 540 minus 3x now this train from here till here time taken by this train to reach here and time taken by this train from here to here will be equal because i have made time equal and if they are meeting at here let they are meeting at 5 then the 9 to 5 is same for this also 9 to 5 this is same for this also that means time is equal what time this train will take what is the distance 540 minus 3x and speed is x and what time this will train train will take 540 upon x plus 15 these two time will be equal we just need to solve this equation if i take three common from this if i take three common this will become 180 minus x upon x Equal to 540 upon x plus 15. This will be cancelled out. 180 times. If I cross multiply, if I cross multiply, 180 minus x, x plus 15 will be equal to 180x. This will become 180x. 
प्लस वन एट्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन वन एट्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन विल बी ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फिफ्टीन एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू वन एट्टी एक्स दिस विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट एंड वी हैव अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व वी हैव अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस प्लस फिफ्टीन एक्स आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड दिस होल इक्वेशन बाय माइनस माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो आई नीड टू डू फैक्टर ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इट विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्सटी एक्स माइनस फोर्टी फाइव एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड एक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्सटी दिस विल बी माइनस फोर्टी फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्सटी इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स माइनस फोर्टी फाइव एंड एक्स प्लस सिक्सटी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो दिस वी विल नॉट बिकॉज एक्स विल कम नेगेटिव सो एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव सो वॉट इज द स्पीड फोर्टी फाइव एक्स इज फोर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर सो वी विल फाइंड आउट हाउ मच दिस ट्रेन टुक टू रीच हेयर टू रीच हेयर सो ट्रेन बी टाइम विल बी वॉट डिस्टेंस फाइव फोर्टी एंड स्पीड इज सिक्सटी ट्रेन टुक नाइन आर टू रीच द मीटिंग पॉइंट द टाइम इज नाइन पी एम द टाइम इज नाइन पी एम इन नाइन आवर्स टाइम विल बी सिक्स पी एम सिक्स पी एम सो द टू ट्रेन्स विल मीट एट सिक्स पी एम टू ट्रेन्स विल मीट एट सिक्स पी एम आई हैव जस्ट फ्रॉम द क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन फ्रॉम फ्रेम फ्रॉम देयर आई फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड बाई फाइंडिंग एक्स आई कैन फाइंड द टाइम एट विच ट्रेन विल रीच इट एट द मीटिंग पॉइंट सो कमिंग ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग अ बस ट्रेवल विद स्पीड ऑफ थर्टी बस ट्रेवल थर्टीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर विद एन स्पीड ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर सिक्सटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर स्पीड न क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग इफ इट स्टॉप एट एट जंक्शन इट टेक एग्जैक्टली वन डे देन व्हाट विल बी द एवरेज स्पीड डिस्टेंस इज थर्टीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एंड इट इज नॉट टेकिंग एग्जैक्टली वन डे दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इफ आई कैंसल दिस आउट What will be the speed? Four six times, four, three, two, five. Then speed will become three twenty five by six kilometer per hour. Distance is constant. Distance is constant. So what will be the ratio of time? Three twenty five by six ratio sixty five. The six will be multiplied here. If I cancel it by five, five. Thirteen five times is sixty-five. Five ratio six. Question is asking find out time duration it stops at each stop. Train is now taking exactly one day. Exactly one day. That means value of six is twenty-four hour. If train stops at each junction, it take exactly twenty-four hour. But if it did not stop, it would have take twenty hour. That means This four hour extra is the stopping time. Stopping time is four hour. Now train is stopping at eight junction. In eight junctions, train stop for four hour. Then on one junction, train will stop for by eight. If I multiply this by sixty to convert it in minute, four two times is eight two thirty. So on one junction, train will stop for thirty minutes. Option number C is the correct answer of this question. to see such more videos please like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much